What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to learn how to use Go High Level for real estate. If you sign up for Go High Level using our affiliate link below, you'll unlock an exclusive extended 30-day free trial that's double the usual 14 days. Plus, we're throwing in over $2,000 worth of bonuses including this landing page template. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. So first of all, in using Go High Level for real estate, you have to make sure you set up your sub account. So there are three different types of sub account when it comes to real estate. So let me show you. Let's go to sub accounts and click add sub account and type in real estate. And you will see the first one, which is real estate agent. And then if you type in uh, the search term property, you will see that there is the property investor snapshot and the property management snapshot so we will briefly take a look at the differences among the three snapshots so for all the snapshots that you're going to create um there will already be um templates that are included in the snapshots so it's it's really easy for you to customize and just build them instead of creating every single template from scratch so yeah let's talk about the right snapshot to choose and the differences among the three snapshots. So for the real estate agency snapshots is for realtors, real estate agents, brokers, managing listings and clients. And their primary goals are to generate buyers and seller leads, uh, nurture leads until they're ready to transact, automate follow-ups to convert prospects into clients and showcase properties via websites and funnels. So to show you a quick overview of a sample funnel for a real estate agent snapshot. So here's how it looks. So as you can see, this um, funnel page is geared towards uh, selling properties to potential clients. Now let me show you a sample of a simple automation workflow for real estate agencies. So let's say um, a visitor from your funnel submitted a form, uh, let's say a, um, a valuation request form. And then after they submit the form, they get an email and then an appointment is booked for their consultation. Now for real estate investors, it's generally for house flippers, wholesalers, buy and hold investors, cash buyers and distressed property investors. And the primary goals for their uh, snapshots would be finding distressed property sellers, build a buyer's list for off-market deals, and automate follow-ups to close deals faster. So if you're working with a property investor, if you look at, let's say, uh, their funnels, so they're focusing on um, property acquisition and reselling um, these properties for profit. Now let's take a look at the example of an automation workflow for a property investor. Let's say a distressed um, property seller fills out the form. Uh, what's next is they receive an SMS. And then let's say after five minutes, uh, an appointment setter would call them and set an appointment. And last but not the least, property management is for property management companies, landlords, uh, managing multiple rental units. And uh, the goals for their snapshots would be to attract property owners who need management services, automate tenant communications and rent collection, and streamline maintenance requests. And if you take a look at their sample funnel, if you see the services they're offering, it would say uh, property inspections, maintenance repairs, rent collection, marketing and leasing. So those uh, services are offered for uh property management. Now for a workflow automation for property management, let's say this is a maintenance request. Say a tenant uh, submitted a um, request form. Uh, after that, they're gonna get an email confirmation and then the task would be assigned to a member of the staff. All right, now let me show you a common um, workflow automation for real estate. It could be used for any of the three. Uh, most of the time it's for 
real estate agents or um, property investors. So either a user fills out a claim offer, maybe from uh, your funnels or maybe uh, a form from Facebook. And then once they fill out the form, they would be transferred to uh, an, a new lead stage opportunity, uh, which I will be showing later. And then after that, they will be added to the long term nurture workflow and then they will get an email and then a, an sms and then there's a wait period uh, for two minutes so if uh, the contact did not reply we'll be calling the contact um, and we will also have a voicemail just in case they, do, they don't pick up and then we can wait for one day and then uh, send another SMS. Now, if the contact replies, they will now be transferred to uh, the hot lead opportunity. If it's positive, we'll be uh, sending a booking link SMS. Uh, if not, uh, we'll just send a survey link SMS. And then the automation would just end if there are no conditions met. All right, so let's test the workflow um, so I could show you how the pipeline looks like. So I already pre-filled the form uh, for our automation. So click submit, and then we're expected to receive an email and SMS. All right, so as you can see, uh, there was already an email confirmation submitted. So as you can see, all your leads will be visible here in the opportunity section under any of your pipelines, if you have multiple pi pipelines. So this lead, you can uh, either call your lead, you can view your SMS conversations, uh, WhatsApp, and email. You can also add some tags for your for your lead. You can add a note. You can add a task for this lead. And you can also add an appointment. And that is it for this video. We just learned how to use Go High Level for real estate. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. And don't forget, if you're ready to try out Go High Level, use our affiliate link in the description to unlock an extended 30-day trial, over $2,000 worth of bonuses, and a free landing page template. See you in the next videos.